Here are some more reasons why your Oculus Quest 2 might be blurry and the tips to fix it. Let's focus in. Hey, howdy everybody, this is Dr. Neil Gaiman, Dr. Eye Guy, not Matt Pat from Game Theory. That's probably the most common comment I got from my other video. I wanted to add some more reasons why your device might be blurry that I didn't mention in the other video. Number one would be lens defects, actual manufacturing lens defects to your Oculus Quest 2 lenses. Now I should have mentioned this one in my other video. Last year, earlier this year, there were a lot of reports of people saying that there were weird defects in their lenses and it would cause blurry vision or areas of weird distortion when they were playing VR and there was nothing that they could do about it. When they actually looked at the lenses, you'd actually notice little areas or segments of the lenses that had maybe chromatic aberration or weird hazy spots or weird spots that would reflect the light weird. Sometimes it almost looked like maybe some of the liquid had gotten in between the lenses from when it was manufactured and so it was pretty weird and there were a lot of reports more than I realized. And these reports were coming from multiple devices, multiple manufacturing dates, multiple areas where the lenses were actually made. And so it was really tricky to nail down. And this can be very annoying. Some people told me that they had to send their device in two, three, four times just to get a device that didn't have a lens defect. And some people just gave up and just returned their device. But yeah, if you have blurry vision or sections of blurry or distortion vision that you can't fix, definitely check out the lenses because there might be a lens defect. Now I put a link in the description below of some examples, some links to Reddit forums where people have posted their pictures of their lens defects so you can compare the defects to your lenses. Also there are many different YouTube videos out there where people show their lens defects as well. So even if you got a new device later 2021, still check out the lenses just to make sure that you don't have a lens defect. Number two, another reason why your lenses might be blurry is from fogging. Two main reasons why your lenses might be fogging up. The main reason is just from a temperature change. If your device is sitting somewhere cool, hasn't been turned on for a while, and you go and put it on your nice warm face, that temperature difference will cause the lenses to fog up. You might also experience this if you wear glasses and you're outside in the cold and then you come inside where it's nice and warm, all of a sudden your lenses will fog up. Same principle applies here. The tip here is trying to reduce that temperature difference. If you can, try and keep your device in a warmer area or some people actually set it under a blanket or under a towel so it'll kind of heat up or warm up the device. Also, I've seen some people recommend actually using a blow dryer on medium heat and warming up the lenses that way. Kind of scares me. I don't know if I'd recommend that, just <laughs> the risk of warping or ruining the lens lenses. Sometimes it can be as simple as just heating it up with your breath as long as you don't put too much condensation on there and then just cleaning it with a clean microfiber cloth that will also clean the lenses that way as well or right after you get playing maybe after a minute or two take it off and then clean it with a microfiber cloth eventually those lenses will warm up and you'll notice that the fogging won't be there anymore after a while second main reason maybe from condensation or fogging after you've been using the device for a little bit especially if you've been working out you're sweating a lot that condensation will kind of build up on the lens now you can do the same thing here. Just take the device off and wipe it down with a microfiber cloth. But if you're someone that doesn't want to take it off, maybe you're in the middle of a workout, then there are a few things that you might want to invest in. You can get a different and better face shield. One popular one is VR cover facial interface and it'll actually have vents in it so that it'll allow more airflow in there. It will definitely reduce fogging in general, reduce condensation as well. There's also a facial interface by Bobo VR that actually has a fan on there that will actively circulate the air that will reduce fogging and condensation. Now the device does sit on top and it is something you have to keep charged and it is a fan so it does add some noise to it so that's something to consider. Now I'll provide the links to these in the description below so you can definitely check out that and check out the reviews of those as well. Now, if you're liking these tips and these VR and I videos, definitely hit that like button for me. I also have some other videos coming out, one about VR and contact lenses, so definitely watch out for that video. Another tip, and a lot of people have asked me about this one, if it's okay to use these anti-fog lens wipes. Now, this one's a little bit tricky for me because Oculus Quest 2 has specifically stated not to use any kind of chemicals or spray any cleaners on the surface of the lenses because it could ruin the lenses. Now these anti-fog lens wipes are actually approved for glasses, glasses that have coatings on there, so it's definitely safe to use, but I don't want to come right out and recommend using anti-fog lens wipes because I don't know what the long-term use would be on these types of lenses. 
So this one's kind of a use at your own risk type of thing. Definitely don't use the anti-fog lens spray because just by spraying that extra fluid on there could ruin the seal of the lenses on there. Now a couple other tips people have mentioned is sometimes they'll purposely leave a gap between their nose and the device to help with air circulation or sometimes they'll just play in front of a fan blowing on them. It cools them down. It also provides a little bit extra air circulation that way. Another reason, and this one definitely is not common, but it's possible, is sometimes you can have air leaking out of the holes in your eyelids. We all have these tiny little drainage holes on our eyelids called puncta, one on top, one on bottom of each eyelid. That's usually where tears will actually drain out and drain down to your nose, but sometimes you can actually have air leak out and out onto the surface of the eye, or sometimes they'll blow out maybe onto your glasses and sometimes onto the Quest 2 lenses. Again, this is probably rare, but I definitely want to mention it. If you try and do everything else, you could have air leaking out of your eyes. I know it's crazy, but it's possible. Now just remember the main reasons why your Oculus Quest 2 might be blurry. Big one is usually an alignment issue, whether it's vertical, horizontal, a PD issue, maybe a distance issue from your eyes to the lenses. And I go over that in depth in the other video, so make sure you check that out. Another big reason is your actual eyes. If you have astigmatism or if you wear or need glasses for distance, remember VR simulates distance vision. So if you need glasses to see three, four, five, six feet out, then you're definitely gonna wanna wear glasses when you're playing VR. Another reason just could be the limitation of the device, whether it's the limitation of the Fresnel lenses, the limitation of the software, or the resolution, or limitation of the game. So just remember, looking through VR, the Oculus Quest 2, it won't be as clear as looking at your phone or a high definition TV. Now, if these tips didn't help, I have other tips where I go more in depth in this video and also my other VR videos right there. Make sure you're subscribed. I'm Dr. Neil Guy, I'm Dr. Eye Guy. Stay focused.